Today, I'm going to show you how to cut holes in your terrain in both Unreal and Unity. Let's go. All right, so we're in the middle of a series of videos on creating terrain shaders in both Unreal and Unity. So far, I've shown how to create a basic terrain shader, how to fix slope stretching, how to break up tiling artifacts, and last week I showed how to add effects like parallax occlusion mapping and nanite displacement. If you're jumping into the middle of this series, I've linked the playlist for the whole series of videos down in the description so you can see all of the previous videos in this series. All right, so back to the topic for today, cutting holes in the terrain. The first question that I want to answer is why? Why, why would you want to cut holes in your terrain? Um, and the first reason is for making caves. So, for example, if you wanted to punch a cave into this cliff side, you'd need to cut a hole in the terrain in order to make an opening for your cave. So that's the first reason. And then the second reason is for optimization. If you have large areas of terrain that are covered by other objects, like this rock here, it may be more efficient to cut out the areas that are covered up so that the engine doesn't need to render those areas. Now, keep in mind that that's only optim an optimization for the pixel shader and you get much better savings if you can actually remove an entire section of terrain instead of just like painting it out. Um, because when, when we cut holes in the terrain, uh, that's only a pixel shader optimization uh, and you're still paying for the terrain in the vertex shader and on the CPU. So if you can get rid of an entire section, that's always more effective. But if you have large chunks of terrain that are covered by other things, you may see a performance improvement uh, if you cut out those areas of the terrain so, so that they don't draw. All right, so first I'm gonna show you how to cut holes in your terrain in Unreal. And then in just a minute, we're gonna switch over to Unity and I'll show you how to do it there as well. So let's get started in Unreal. The first thing that I'm gonna do is gonna come up here to Selection Mode and I'm gonna drop this down and pick Landscape. And that's gonna give us a bunch of controls for our landscape. And what we wanna control is the visibility. So right now I'm in sculpt mode, um, but what I wanna choose is visibility. And this is gonna allow me to paint what's visible and what's not uh, for my landscape, or in other words, to cut a hole in it. Now, right now you can see that my brush here on the landscape is red. And when I read over here, it says there are some areas where visibility painting is disabled um, because the, the component doesn't have landscape visibility mask node in the material. And so what this is telling you is if you paint, nothing is going to happen. It, it, it doesn't work. And that's because I need to make some changes in the, the material, in the shader that I have applied to the terrain. Uh, in order to support this feature. So what we're gonna do is select our terrain and come over here to the shader that we've been building in the videos that we've created so far. So here you can see each of my individual material layers. Uh, I have cobblestones, I have kind of mossy grass, I have dirt, and then I have this rocky mossy uh, material as well. So my terrain has four layers, and I have different uh, layers that I've created. So the first one is just a simple layer. This layer is doing tile breakup that we talked about a couple of episodes ago. This layer is doing triplanar projection, and then here again we have a simple layer. So lots of different things that we've covered in the series so far. And what we wanna do today is uh, add holes to our terrain material. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is select our root node over here, and we're gonna come over here to blend mode in the settings, and instead of it being set to opaque, I'm gonna drop this down and choose masked. And when I change it from opaque to masked, 
it's going to uh, it's going to expose this new input here called opacity mask and that's where i need to pass in a value that controls what's visible and what's not or in other words where the holes are and so I need to bring in a node that allows me to define where those holes go. And in Unreal, that node is called Landscape Visibility Mask. So I'm just going to right click here and type Landscape. And I'm going to add the Landscape Visibility Mask node. And this node is all we need in order to bring in our Landscape Visibility Mask. So all I need to do is connect this node here to my opacity mask on my root node and then save it and now that my material is updated i can just come back to my terrain and paint the holes so uh here i'm in landscape mode i picked visibility and i can control the size of my brush and that sort of thing here um but now all i have to do is paint and now I'm painting holes in my terrain. So if I wanted to create a cave entrance here, I could just paint it like this. And then I could create the geometry for my cave going right there into the side of the cliff. So pretty easy, pretty simple. That's how you create uh, holes in your terrain in Unreal. And again, you know, if I have a bunch of areas in my terrain that are covered up with rocks, uh, I probably want to set my brush to something really small. And then I could just come in here and paint out this area of the terrain that's hidden behind the rock. And that would just ensure that that area of the terrain doesn't draw uh, when my scene is rendered. All right, so that's how to create holes in Unreal. Let's switch over and I'll show you how to do the same thing in Unity. All right, here we are in Unity. And just like we did in Unreal, we selected our terrain and we've come over here to uh, our terrain options. And when you go into this paint terrain mode here, there's a whole bunch of different things you can paint. You can paint the height, you can paint textures, but what I've done is select paint holes um, because we want to paint holes in terrain. And again, this is because we want to uh, punch a cave into our terrain uh, or because we want to hide parts of it uh, just kind of as an optimization step. So uh, I can select paint holes and then paint and nothing happens. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I've seen a lot of people ask both in the comments in my videos uh, and also in online forums, hey, if I'm using a custom shader graph shader in Unity for my terrain, uh, I can't paint holes. Uh, how do I make that work? And so what I'm gonna do is show you how to update your terrain shader so that it supports whole holes painting. And so what we need to do is come over here to the shader that we've been working on so in the last couple of episodes, we've built this shader and it's got a bunch of different layers. We've got simple layers, tile breakup layers, parallax occlusion layers, etc. And I've shown you guys how to do all of this stuff in, in our previous episodes. But what we're going to do today is uh, specifically about how to uh, support the ability to paint holes. So I want to come up here and open my graph inspector and switch over to graph settings. And the setting that we need to change here is called alpha clipping. So I'm going to check the alpha clipping box there. And when I turn on alpha clipping, it's going to change my master stack here to have an alpha input. And this alpha input is going to control where the holes show up. So in order to bring in uh, the mask that determines where holes appear, I need to add a new node to my graph. And so I'm going to add a uh, terrain texture node. And this is the new node that is new in terrain in shader graph in Unity 6.3. And so if I add the terrain texture node here and then drop down 
which kind of texture I want to bring in, I can pick holes from the drop down menu. And so what that's going to do is now this texture object that's coming out of here is my holes uh, texture mask. And so what I need to do with this one is now I need to create a sample texture 2D node and just plug my holes texture into that. And so now this sampler is sampling uh, the mask uh, that samples my holes texture. And it's just a grayscale mask, so I can take the red channel, uh, or whichever channel, it's going to be in all of them, but I'm just going to take the red channel and plug that right into the alpha input on my master stack. And that is all I need to do. Uh, so um, this is the the texture that's uh, determining where the holes have been painted. And then I'm sampling it and passing the results into my alpha channel. So I've go ahead and save my shader and switch back to my scene. And now I can use my holes painting brush. And as I do, you can see uh, now it's painting holes in my terrain and they're working great. So that's how you do it. You can paint holes in your terrain in Unreal. You can paint holes in your terrain in Unity. And you'll want to do this if you want to add a cave, uh, if you want to put a well into your terrain, uh, or again, if you want to do optimization and get rid of the terrain in areas where it's covered or not visible, uh, you can use hole painting for that just to ensure that the engine is not putting any effort into rendering terrain that's not visible. All right, it was kind of a short, easy video today, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, pretty simple to update your terrain or landscape shader uh, in order to uh, support the ability to paint holes. Now, one thing that I will say, if you don't need holes, it's better to leave your shader uh, without the ability because the terrain is a little bit more expensive to render if you have alpha clipping turned on. So if you can leave that out, out uh, or in Unreal, if you can leave it set to opaque, it's better to leave it there. But if you do need holes, it's okay to turn this on. It won't be a lot more expensive, just a little bit. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. It was a short one today. Uh, have a great week, everybody, and we'll see you in next week's video.